Hi, this is Gail, and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to do uh, week two of Roxy's challenge, uh, her weekly challenge, and um, it, it, let me show you how I ended up from the first week. Now, I had finished five tags um, by the end of the 45 minutes, but I went on and finished up a few more. So, these are, they need to sit under something heavy because they're curling a little bit. Okay, there's four. And here's the fifth one. Okay, let me move that over. All right, this was the first one, and I feel like that one's the most complete looking. It's the most together. So the, there are five there. Now, I, I say those are the ones I finished, but in all honesty, I don't really know now which ones I finished and which ones are ones I did after. And then I did three more after I finished the challenge. So, I have all eight done, and these are all for my botanical altered book. And they're all plain on the back because that's the um, substrate that I used was like that. So, anyhow, eight. Good deal, right? Okay, now, this week's challenge, pardon my little table... This thing is just, well, it's my little pull-at piece from the desk, you know, where you put your keyboard, and it's pretty slanty when you pull it out to give enough room. Okay, this challenge, you take some scrapbook papers or whatever, cut them up into tags, and you're going to paint over, and you choose things that you kind of really didn't like the print on them. I mean, polka dots are okay, but yeah, I don't know, not really feeling it. Now the back, this at least I could write over, so I figured I could leave that as the back, or I can put a plain piece of tea dye paper on the back. But actually what I'm doing right now is doing some blueberry tea dyeing, I saw my friend Lori do that, and I really like the light blue, so I'm giving it a whirl. But it takes longer in the winter when you can't put the paper outside to dry. So, I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tags, okay? So, the idea is to use paint on them. Um, I tried a practice piece where I painted and it was hideous. So I'm using paint, but I'm going to use some stencils and some mousse and some of these paints and some of these paints and just sort of mix it up a little bit and see what happens. And I have that stencil. Ugh. Yes. I have a couple of other things that I've used in the past. This also is a stencil. Um, and then this gives like a crackle texture. So I thought we might use those as well. So... Let's give it a whirl. I've set my timer. I'm off by a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Okay. So first, let's just use the Dilutions paint, shall we? And I am just going to dab that on with a little sponge, which... I think I better cut off to find a 
Well, I don't know what color. The sponge must be pink. Here, I thought it was paint. Alrighty. So, and I am just going to sort of dab that on in various places. I have taken a piece of paper to mask off some of the stencil because it also has like a Christmas tree on it and I'm not interested in getting a tree. Oops, that one's smeared. I wonder if I can take that right off. Let's see, let's see. Get out. A baby weight. Yeah, I don't like that one at all. Yep, baby wipe. Took it right off. That's good. Okay, we'll try that again. Did it go through? Yeah, it did a little bit. Okay. So, count on me. If there's paint, I'm going to be a mess. I'm just saying. It is who I am. I'm the messy artist. What was I calling myself? The crappy artist. <laughs> Sometimes that's, oh, that's even worse. Hello, Gail. Too much paint is the issue here. Yep, definitely. Too much paint. And that's okay if that permanently lightens that there, because anything that gives a little bit of a variety is okay with me. Okay. Let's just get this off the back of this so it doesn't continue to smear, right? <laughs> okay, now I'll try it again. And if this doesn't work, we're just going to say, okay, ah, better. I'm not really sure where I'm headed with this anyways, to be honest. Okay, and let's try one like this. Ooh, I like that one a lot. Let's put it halfway on and halfway off. What do you think? Ooh, I like that. Let's do that over here, too. Yep, and I just got that on my finger. Okay. Gail. Okay. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay. Kind of feel like there'll be something in the center on that anyhow. So I don't necessarily need anything in the middle. So, that's not bad. We're going to set that up here. To dry for the time being. And that's going to be part of our issue with doing this is drying time. I do have my heat gun and it's really... I think a pretty quiet heat gun as they go, but we shall see. Okay, how about if now, instead of white, we switch to a different color for a moment, huh? Huh? 
How about if we go to a silver? Okay. I think that might look good. Now, this was already on the paper. I didn't do that. <laughs> I own up when I make a mess. Okay. Oh, yeah. The issue is going to be opening this. Let me see. See if I can get a tool. Oops, that didn't work. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that open. My son's asleep. That's a bummer. I really wanted to try silver. But these lids, they get down on here and you cannot get them open. I don't know. I usually keep a pair of pliers in with my paints. Okay, well, let's go to plan B. How about we do a little mousse? And this is going to give it some texture. And we're going to smear that on with the credit card, eh? Okay. So start with a little bit here. Definitely need more. I think I'm going to put some up here and then take it off of there. Now that's going to build it up. So it's going to have that 3D effect. Yeah. And I think I'm going to use the same smell flake on the whole thing. Oh yeah, like that. Trying to be careful not to get it anywhere that I don't want it, you know? You know, a little bit of polka dots is fine. It's just this seems like too much to me. And with this white, the only thing with, you know, the white polka dots is that some of the snowflake is getting lost in it, unfortunately. But never fear, I have... a blue... Moose. And in case you're wondering, this is just want to get that real quick. Honestly, it doesn't matter because that's going to be partially covered up. But before I set it over there to dry, you can see that's got more texture than the paint had. Okay, now, this is Marabou Mixed Media 
acrylic mousse. To me, it's like a gritty toothpaste texture, but I like it. Okay, now let's try the blue. Okay. Alrighty, so, and I wish I could tell you that I have another stencil. Oh, that desk. Hear how it pops when I set it down. <laughs> Just a little annoying. Okay. Shall we try this one this time? I don't know if I'm going to like this color with it, but we'll see. I don't know if the blues will look nice together. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, the masking helps. So this doesn't get anywhere you don't want it. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that now. And it's okay if the snowflakes go off the side. You don't want things to be too perfect perfect. continuing to put it all over even though I know some of it will most likely be covered up by a picture or something but I don't really in my head know exactly what just yet so yeah so we'll just Play for right now. And put one down here. Okay, so there's that one. I don't not like it. I'm not going to say I love it, love it, but I don't not like it. Okay, now, let me try one more time. Oh, yeah, see, I've already got the paint. <laughs> you can't see the paint here. Okay, <laughs> cover this up for a moment. Let's try this again. gonna take pliers. Oh, I think it moved. Or was that my brain just wanting it to? Okay. I just don't have the strength in my arms like I used to. Doggone it, I really wanted to try silver. Well, I have to wait until tomorrow, I suppose. So, that's okay. I'll get my son to take the lid off and try it, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so if I'm only going to get five done anyhow, let me see if there's... I might have... Let me look real quick for a silver paper.
Nope. I don't have one up here. But what I did find is one called Admiral Blue. So I'm guessing that's more like a navy. And, you know, I'm kind of curious what that might look like. So, I'm going to use this now, and, hmm, let's see, let's just do a variety. It's not too bad, it's different. Oh, smudged that one when I picked it up. That's not good. Uh -oh, this one might have ruined it. <clears throat> well, it is what it is, as they say. So let's just put one down on there, get the smudged part off the back. <sighs> gale, gale, gale. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be paint from head to toe. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I am such a mess. What in the world? What did I do? Did I not have it down? I'm blind as a bat in here at night. But I don't want to brighten it up any more than it is already. So, maybe I need to try the other snowflake. <laughs> oh, gosh. There. Better. Holy guacamole. Hang this one off. Okay. And it seems that odd numbers are more appealing to the eye. So, I did odd. And that one smudged some too, but I'm going to let it go because it's probably going to be covered up. As is that, most likely. And I'd love to put some of that crackle stuff on it. Now, well, that one's kind of not so good. <laughs> I don't know if I like that so much, but let's try some of the crackle stuff, shall we? Now, 
Well, let me show you. Now, let's do the crackle stuff. Now, the crackle stuff, if you notice, I used... Let me get the other stuff that I used. I used this Dilusions paint on, and it's called London Blue. <laughs> oh, finally, got it. Okay, and with this, and I honestly can't tell you where I got this. I think it actually was a gift from a friend who was going through her craft stuff. And she just was cleaning it out. And she thought that I might use it. And so she gave it to me. And I don't, it's a, like a, it's a plastic. So, all right, let's see. Can you handle it? How can I mess this one up? Is that what you're thinking? Okay. It helps if you have a bigger area to work in. I'm just saying. Okay. Well, that did not work well at all. Hmm, it worked fine. And I've tried it in the past. So I'm guessing I probably didn't put enough down. And I might need a bit of a brush to put it on with. Let me reach over here and this isn't really the right kind of brush but it's all I have in here. Maybe I'm putting it on the wrong side. I forgot because it's textural. I just want it to hit the highlights and maybe I've got it on the wrong side to do that. Maybe it should be up here. We'll play. We have time. Well, maybe. <laughs> okay. idea what that is that's making the clanging sounds. There, that worked. But with the polka dots, I think the effect is kind of lost on it. So, yeah, not super impressed with that. But we'll see what we can do to make it look better when we move on. Okay, one last thing. I'd like to try the other issue in here is that I have no room to put stuff at all. Okay, last one. I'm gonna go over here and I don't really like this. London blue on this. So let's go back and let's use the white mouse. Okay. And use the sponge. Everything is <laughs> I really have issues. Just saying. Okay. 
I'm just going to do it here and there. Well, maybe we'll do it all over. What difference does it make, right? Let's just do it all over the tag. See if it improves its look any. Now I will say that it's real important to wash your stencils right away after you Oh, looks like I got some of the blue on there. Well, okay. <laughs> All right, that should finish it off for me. And otherwise your stencil is going to be a mess. And believe it or not, I did wash this right away, but it had dried between walking from in here to my kitchen area. So, here we have that one. And again, it was kind of cool that the blue mixed in a little bit. I kind of like that effect. But with the polka dots, you can't really... Yeah, can't really see a lot. Okay, but it's all good, right? It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so now I'm going to get my little dryer. And if you don't like that, I'm sorry. So fast forward. Uh. I've already lost 30 minutes, so I'm not doing real well on this challenge. <laughs> I have issues. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll just focus on getting a couple of them done and call it good enough. It's really a shame because the polka dots, you can't really see the pretty snowflakes, but they really are kind of nice. That feels dry. Might as well try this one, even though I don't like that blob of blue there. I think it's the choice of the background that I chose. Probably not a wise decision, but oh well. It is what I have. So the other two, I'm going to let them dry on their own for a while. Okay. So stencils off on the floor. And I still have two more tags that I could do something with at some point. Okay. And I don't want to get those 
and wet paint. So let me move all of the paints off of here and my messiness here. Okay. And I think I'll throw all of that away. Not this, of course, but set that on the ground. And this is why I put this paper down. So there. Some of there's some bleed through on it, but that's okay. All right. So. I have to clean off my hands a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to get this all over everything. So, I'm looking here to see what I have that I can do real quickly. And I'm looking through here. And I have a little bit of this. I have, let's see, where is it? I have this. And I feel like I could cut this out. Yeah, so it's been a pretty dreary couple of days here, but that's just kind of the way it is in the winter here. At least we're not getting a ton of snow. It's just cool, and it's overcast and gray. And it did get up to like 40 today which is kind of almost unseasonably warm for us. So that's a good thing. Okay. Let's see. How does that look? Hmm. Does it need something behind it? I don't know. Nope, that looks ugly. Let's see. I don't know. I feel like it looks best there, but maybe. I can't really see it there. Kind of gets lost there. I think you see it the best there. And now, um, where's my container with words? Well, of course, I've put the paints in it. <laughs> oh, the woes of a small area to work in. Yeah, maybe we want to put that down at the but, um, I have this stuff. wonder if that would help to break down the polka dots some. Yeah, but then it totally covers up the snowflakes. So why bother? Let's see. Winter Bliss. Well, it could be. That's kind of big, though. It's not Christmas. Well, just pulling out some things. 
Yeah. Not doing well on this challenge. <laughs> Winter wishes. <laughs> oh, lordy. Will I get one done even? Hard to say. Okay. Snowball? Not really. What's this say? Snowflake kisses. Yeah, not loving it. I cut out a whole bunch of these, but of course they're buried under here. Okay. Cozy by the fire? Nope. Winter Wishes got that one. Too small to read. Icy Kisses. Well, one more and then I just go with what I have there. So yeah, we're just going to go with Winter Bat and let me find the proper distress ink. Let's try Broken China, shall we? Let's see if that'll work. Oh, no. Wrong one. Am I batting 100 today or what? Just can't win. Ugh. I think I give up. This is not going well. Let's try this. I grabbed the wrong one. Ugh, heavens. Okay. Let's try again. Okay, because I have that raised part now, I need something that's going to grip on a little bit better than the glue stick, I think. Okay, this is where I need to put down, let's put a little of this stuff. And I better put some more of this. Oh, and maybe we'll put this as well. Oh, that's why, because I have the sticky side up. What else is new? Right, let's do that, and then put this, but that's crooked, okay. Oh, I have five minutes. Did not do well on this challenge at all. One tag. Pretty pathetic. Okay. 
will dry clear. Okay, and now ugh, I need something up at the top. Ugh. And I think Well, I have one of those, or I have one of these. Let's do one of these for kicks. Oops, but beforehand. <laughs> what else can go wrong? Don't even answer that. I hope you're laughing with me, <laughs> or laughing at me, whichever floats your boat. <laughs> uh, this one, it has a lot of fun, you know, but it's not turning out so well. <laughs> I'm covered in pain, and I'm just going to say, things could have gone better. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to use that up here as my little tab. Okay, winter wishes. I don't know. I think it's the polka dots, not very, um, yeah, not doing it for me at all. So, anyhow, there's one, and I don't know if putting this over top would help any. I don't really know. Let's see what we can do to fix this one. Okay. That's a cute little bear, isn't it? I'm just continuing to work because, like, I only have a few more minutes and then <laughs> it's, it's done. <laughs> okay. This stuff is, like, really... kind of falling apart more than normal. Well, I hope I at least gave you a little chuckle today. Because <laughs> I gave me a chuckle. Lordy. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I gotta... Yeah. Just basically to get that white off around the edge. Okay. Get ready to see me get all stuck to my hand dyed uh, cheesecloth. Because, you know. That would be me. The glue herself to the cheesecloth. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> okay. It really is falling apart. I don't, this cheesecloth isn't the best. 
This is almost more like creepy cloth, but... but I don't know if it's sticky enough. We're just going to put her right in the center if we can. I think this challenge with doing the painting too, that kind of kind of takes up some of the time uh, that you would spend, you know, doing other things. But I did start after I had already cut up the paper to make the tags, which I don't know if that's cheating or not, but I kind of started it. And then realized, oh, hey, you might want to, you know, set your timer and do some videotaping. So, yeah. Okay. Now, what else can we do here? I don't know. Hands are so gluey. Mm. Wonderful winter. Kind of big. Could do wonderful and then winter down here. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Winter bliss. Not much smaller. Maybe if I cut off. Everything but the stitching, the inner stitching. That'll make it a little bit more doable, I think. Yeah, there we go. I had some cute little ice skates. But oh, I see part of the issue is I have my stuff in here for botanicals, and they've kind of gotten all mixed up. Here's the ice skates. Yeah, they kind of don't really work. I have gloves. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing's really doing it for me. I have a sled. Isn't that a cute little penguin? Maybe we'll use that on one coming up. There's another one, another one, and that one, well that's kind of like one's the loneliest number you'll ever do. I don't think people want to be reminded of that. <laughs> it's 
especially not me. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I don't feel like I am doing so great with this challenge, John. Just saying. There's that. I'm just gonna ink this and I don't know if I have this. Should I put that there? Should I put one down here? Put the winner bliss. Too much, too little. Too late. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. What can I say? It gives it a little more texture and a little more pizzazz, right? This one's got a little issue. It's kind of all curled up. Must have been the way it was on the roll. See, it's stuck to my finger okay. But that one's not... I don't want to settle down. Now oh, this one's raising its ugly head. Get down. Gracious sakes. So tonight, my cats, the outdoor ones, did not eat everything up. So there was a bit of cat food left. So, yeah, even with the light on the deck on, there's the possum, just as pretty as you please. I clap my hands, I holler, he doesn't move. And then finally, I banged on the door and opened the slider, and it took off. They are just such ugly little critters. I love animals, but ugh. They just don't do a thing for me. <laughs> then I was waiting for the raccoon to come again. And I am going to take a picture of the one that was up there the other night. I didn't get a picture taken in time before it left, but it was huge. The one that I saw before was like a baby in comparison to this one. His head was so big. I'm trying to think of... He was like coconut size head. I mean, and then his body was in proportion to that. He was just... He was huge. I've just not seen one that big before. So, yeah. Okay. Then I have some of this little sparkly stuff. So, yeah. How about we use some of that for... Winter bliss. Hmm? It's kind of hard to see when you're blind like me. I 
out when I take the tip of my finger off while I'm at it, eh? Gracious sakes. This is a day. Actually, it's the evening. And it's late. It's like 1.30, something like that. Yeah, I fell asleep in my little comfy chair while I was watching the wonderful world news. And, um, yeah. But then I woke up and watched all of my fun shows that I watch. You know, what is it, Chicago... Which one comes on first? Chicago Med, then Chicago Fire, then Chicago PD. Right? So, I watched those next. So that was fun. And then I watched the news again. I actually, once it got to the weather, I was done. And then the sports which I don't quite understand why it's okay for the kids to now practice, you know, their team sports, but they can't play a game. And I'm not sure. I, d I don't understand that. It doesn't make sense to me um, to be allowed to do one and not the other. They seem like the same thing to me, so... I don't know. Maybe you guys have some insights into that, because I'm not quite getting it. Okay. And should I? Why not? Let's put yet another snowflake on. And we'll put it up here. And that'll be my I think I'm going to switch to Fabri-Tac because the stuff seems like it's not really wanting to hold. And as far as I can see, these both, they're the same on both sides, but oopsie. Now I'm going to have runners of glue everywhere. Ah, yes, and that wonderful smell of Fabri-Tac. At least I can smell it now. For a long time, I couldn't smell it. So some of my smell has returned. Some. Not all, but some. And why did I put that on the whole thing? Because I really don't need it on the whole thing. I only need it on part of it. But I wanted to get sticky fingers again, I suppose. So, well, we are almost on like an hour and a half, and I don't think I'll torture you any longer, but I will, uh, next time show you what I have done with these and I may play with this a little bit more because I still have some tags that are on book pages and I may make some using those and I'm just saying it's a good thing I don't really like this paper because I feel like this is almost a waste of paper feel like it's kind of ugly, but I did get that one done, and I'll be nice and say I got that one done, but you know I didn't, really. I did get those semi-decorated. There's that one. That one just hurts my eyes. <laughs> I'm just going to say. Yeah, and I don't know about this one. Those are snowflakes on there, but it's really, really busy. 
<laughs> so I have created things that are even uglier than the polka dots. <laughs> but maybe I can fix it and make it pretty by the time you see the finished result. Okay, so that's me for tonight with Roxy's weekly challenge and paint on tags. So, get out there and create. Please make something pretty and share with me. <laughs> uh, have some fun. Make some art. Find the joy. Okay? Focus on the joy. So, hope you had a little chuckle at least tonight. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. I hope you'll continue to visit, even though I did such a wonderful job. Talk to you soon. Until later. Bye-bye. Stay safe.